Be joined with your good works. You don't need Christ anymore. He does not live to die for you. So that's what the Bible says. I am say it. I'm just sharing it because I want everybody to have eternal life. And the third is that you have to recognize that Jesus died and rose again to pay the penalty for our sins. Because he's sinless. His blood is pure. So we need Jesus. It says in 1 Corinthians 53, Christ died for our sins. Just as the scripture said, he was buried and was raised from the dead on the third day. That's the only reason he died. He's our Savior so we can all be saved. And I'm fourth, is that you have to place your, this is the last, place your faith in Jesus Christ alone. In the Bible, Acts 16, 31, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Along with everyone in your household. The Bible did not say, believe in the Lord Jesus and hope or wish or dream or plan or think. The Bible says, if you believe in the Lord Jesus, you will be saved. And another verse in the Bible, it says there in the next verse, Jesus said in the book of John 46, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So everybody has a free will and free choice. But again, our Creator, the God who created you, He has the final song to say, say, so I'm just quoting, it did not come from me. So that's the John 14, 6, it's the only way. And then the last verse is Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God and us. 1 Timothy 2, 5. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, there were two sinners beside Him, right and left, the one with thieves. And when He was dying on the cross, sabi ng isang thief, doon sa kabila, hey, are you God? Eh, bakit? Why can't you save yourself? 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 Save us. Pero yung isang thief doon sa other side niya, ang sabi niya, bakit ko siyang ganun din? Si Lord yan. Sa mga walang ginawang kasalanan, tayo meron. Sa pinakos ako, tayo may serve it. We are thieves. Tapos sabi mo, isang thief. So, kanya, Lord, remember me, ha? Huwag mo kong kanimutan. Tapos sabi, Lord, today, you will be with me in paradise. So pareho siya ng singer, right and left. The other one had no faith. The other one mocked the Lord. So now you have a free will. And you can choose to mock the Lord and not believe. It's up to you. But I'm just quoting because we love you so much. I know my dad loves you. My dad accepted the Lord Jesus in his heart. So we want to share it with you. Kasi, uh, as I said, like a short. And lastly, in my father's epitaph, or you what's encrypted on his tombstone. Ang nakalagay po is yung favorite verse niya. Oh there. So you can see the favorite verse. It's John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. Hindi na ko po si Tita Di. Siya nagpalagay yung kaya. Kasi she said, what's your dad's favorite verse? Because my dad passed away September 8, 2021. But in April of 2021, my brother in in America passed away in April. And then a month later, yung isang kulit niya also passed away. So he made a memorial like a tribute. He was requested to do a tribute. In both these tributes, he go to this verse. Kasi favorite niya niya yan. So I will read it to you. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Like my dad already died, but he will continue to live. That's why the theme is LRB forever. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never ever die. See, Jesus is talking about eternal life, not this physical life, but we have spirits. We are created to be eternal beings. So that's my only share with you. And before I step out, because we have to continue with our program, I just want to lead you in a 30 second prayer because to make sure that all of you will have a chance to believe and accept the Lord in his heart. So that all of us will be forever and ever. Yes. Amen. So if you can please stand up and follow me in this short prayer. Amen. It's only between you and the Lord because only God can see your heart. The Bible says that it's written in our hearts and He knows everything. So if you mean it, trust me. Whatever happens to you today, tomorrow, next year, 10 years from now, if you put Jesus Christ in your heart, you will be saved. It's very simple. It's a free gift. And like life insurance, war insurance, health insurance, you have to pay a premium. But as we heard, read Kanina, eternal life is for free. 
It's a gift of God. Okay, Father God, we come before you today. We thank you for the gift of eternal life. We thank you that Jesus, our Savior, died on the cross for our sins because yes. we cannot save ourselves. And we thank you that he rose again on the third day because he said, because he resurrected, that we will all have a chance to be resurrected and be forever and ever for all of eternity. Lord, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us. Yes. Anything that we have said, thought of, or did that displeased you in any way, bring it to our memory. We know we cannot save ourselves, but by your grace, you promise. If you confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us. By faith, we are forgiven now. Lord Jesus, enter our hearts. Come into our hearts. We love you. Lord, life is very short. Please direct our lives. Come into our lives. Bless us. Protect us. Preserve us. And just like the thief on the cross who said, Lord, remember us. And may he remember us at the, our appointed time of death. We thank you for your promise. We thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you, it's a free gift. It's not because of who we are, what we have done, or good works. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.